kitchen's open, y'all. If you haven't said hi before, right here, down here, somewhere in the chat, go ahead and give us a hello. That is the counterculture, and they're going to take good care of you. Tonight, I am making pico de gallo. Because it is finally tomato season. Let's get a little bit of music going here, huh? Or not. There we go. It's finally tomato season. It rained and rained until, um, well, I don't know, July. And then summer started. So right now, it's still summer outside in October. I'm not complaining. So... At any rate, uh, pico de gallo, it is the first thing that I make when I have fresh tomatoes because I've got the garlic already, um, limes, you know, you always have a lot. Uh, what else do I need? I've got the onions. It, it's just, it's the perfect thing to start off with. So um, yeah, yeah, let's uh, see if anybody's here. Hey, Michelle, thanks for coming. And Keely. Looks like she's saying hi to Michelle there. And then this is a hello for me, I think. Thank you. Um, oh, and Rich. Hey, Rich. Glad, you're, uh, glad you got home from, from where you were today. So, um, wondering if anybody else is out there. Before I move on, I guess I'm just going to move on then. Um, so, okay, pico de gallo. It is not salsa. It is, uh, I guess it is kind of a salsa technically. I'm not really well versed in this, so I'm going to have to look that up. But uh, it is a fresh, um, big chunky, eat it with fresh chips. I actually went somewhere and got fresh chips today. Uh, so that's that. I can show you. Why don't we Why don't we take a look at these real quick? Um, you should order some pico, Rich. Yes. In the bar, about to order pico. There you go. I am going to give this a shot to see if I can get this um, this camera working here because I'd like to show you my tomatoes. That kind of sounds weird. Oh, look at that, it worked. Look at that, it worked. So, here are my tomatoes. These are Rosella, they're a little cherry tomato. They're kind of a big cherry, but they're cherry. Um, these are, I think called early slicers. I cannot remember now everything that I planted, unfortunately. This is a black trifle from um, from Alpaca Mama. She plant she started the seeds and then gave these to this to me. It's supposed to be green like this, I guess. Um, so that's that's that one. It's a slicer also, so slicers. And then I've got some Romas over here, and I'll use Romas mostly for sauces. These are what you call San Marzano, and they have a thick wall. Um, these are definitely for sauce. So um, I will be making a lot of sauce this weekend. I've got um, a couple baskets and boxes of tomatoes back on the other side behind me, but we're not going to look at those right now. So let's uh, give you a little BTS on accident and switch cameras. All right. All right. So like I said, hey, Sherry, it's good to see you. You've had a busy day. Um, yeah, so many tomatoes. It is, it's a lot and there's a whole bunch more out there. Okay, so again, one more time. Pico de gallo. I've got some fresh chips lined up, but first. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Sherry. Um, God, I'm so excited for the adventure that you're on and I miss you a lot, but happy birthday. 
um, I, I couldn't wish for more for you. So I hope, I hope things went well today and I'm really excited to see what you guys have going on down there. All right, let's, um, let's do the real thing, but first a cocktail. So I am making a mojito tonight in honor of Sherry's birthday since we know that it is her favorite cocktail. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just getting some, what are these things called? Just taking some mint leaves off. You need about 12. I like it minty, so I'll probably do a little more than 12. You don't need the stems. The stems kind of get, mm, yeah, they're, they'll probably give you a little bit of a bitter taste and nobody likes that. So, wow, these smell good. I wish we had smell a vision for you. All right, I'm gonna keep one sprig out for, uh, or two sprigs out for garnish. Go put these other kids away before they wilt. Where's my glass? Ooh, somebody needs to get better at this part. It's like an adventure in Dina's kitchen. So the recipe calls for simple syrup. I actually like just regular granulated sugar um, for that sugar hit at the bottom, kind of like at your cereal bowl. And then um, I will add some simple syrup, just not as much as it calls for. I still haven't made it to the store for um, ice. So ice is courtesy of um, Alpaca Mama today. So there's my simple syrup. Ooh, we need a lime. How about that? We're just going to put these right in here right into the glass. It has been so dry out here that um, the well has gone dry for people in the area and uh, we've been helping each other out. So it's been a lot of moving hoses around and doing what we can to help our neighbors, but that's what we do out here in the Shire. All right, let's, let's uh, get this drink going. I'm gonna add a couple of these wedges. You don't wanna necessarily leave them in sometimes you can depends on how fast you drink we know i drink fast but uh, they could sometimes make the the drink a little bitter like me but it's okay so let's get to muddling here
whoa. Alright. I wish I had an assistant that I could kind of just hand things to off camera and then it would just go where it belonged. That would be so awesome. <clears throat> All right, two ounces of rum. Um, brown rum works, but I, I prefer white rum because it's prettier. And I like it sweet, so I'm using 7-Up. You can use club soda. And we need to go get a sucky thing. What is it called? The straw. <laughs> the sucky thing. It's a straw. <laughs> I'll be back. Happy birthday, Sherry. I don't know how many more times I'm going to say it, but I'm not going to apologize for it. So this is really good. Mm. Delicious. Okay. I just wagged my tail. Um, that was really good. That is really good. Yum. Okay. Next thing is, let's see what, let's see what, who's here. Let's Wow, you guys have been talking. Look at you. Yay, cake, she says. Um, yeah, I don't have any cake. Uh, happy birthday, pal. That's, and we might as well drink. Every time I say it, let's just drink. Hey, Kathy, good to see you, Principal Walker. Um, that was not the intent. So you shouldn't be crying because I, I didn't cry while I was making it. No, not me, not at all. Mm -mm. Not, nope. Uh, Keely, thank you for posting the link to the drink. Uh, yeah, Kathy, mojitos, where it's at. Um, I'm actually curious if uh, people like them. There's. There's a camp that's all about mm -mm, no salad in my cocktail because, you know, at the bottom you get drink. I mean, you get, what do you call this stuff? Salad, I guess. And then there's people who love it. So um, tell me, I should have done a poll, huh? Tell me if uh, you're a mojito person or not. That's right. Y'all went and met up in Albany a few weeks ago. And apparently Principal Walker schooled everyone on how to play cornhole. So very, very well done, my friend. Okay, looks like uh, Kathy is in the house for the mojitos for sure. Yes, Sherry, sugar's at the bottom is the best. Hey, Beth, good to see you. Uh, I hope you're settling in well in your new um, habitat. <laughs> yeah, trade you eyes any day for water. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, there's a line cam now. It's actually, um, I'll show you again. It's stove cam swung out because we don't need the stove today. So I figured I'd come over here and say hi. Okay. Yeah, Sherry's lived out here for a good spell, and um, the wells going dry have not been a thing for a lot of people, but uh, it's a thing now. <laughs> Poor Cherie has had to spend time in my kitchen. Uh, she knows that there is a camera everywhere. Uh, Sherry, thank you. 
I will I will move cameras around a little more, give you guys a little more insider view. Oh, I thought other people's wells were going dry too. Sorry, I'm telling stories about the Shire that aren't true. Thanks, Kathy. All right, now we're talking about well architecture. That mojito is yummy. Yes, it's your birthday mojito. Everybody needs to drink now because I said birthday. Um, hey, Tori's in the house. Look at you, there we go. Um, I like digging holes. So if it weren't for the 18 feet down part, I would really like that job, but I'm gonna have to pass. Um, and then my favorite guy is here. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael, right here. Okay, um, let's talk about these San Marzanos real quick because we can. They're an elongated tomato and they sometimes have these little tip on them. I don't even know why we just went there, sorry. Um, but they've got a really thick wall on them. They're not juicy. Uh, they are perfect for sauce, and I, would th I know you're probably going, but isn't it the juice that you need for sauce? No. You want the, the meat of the tomato rather than the sauce. So let's, um, let's wipe this sticky stuff up real quick, and then I will show you what's what. The last time we did a sticky drink and I didn't wipe it all up, I was trying for three days to get all the sugar off the counter so real quick okay see how thick the walls are on that compared to one of the ones that we will be cutting for for um, the pico. So, I mean, there, there are seeds in here. There's not many. I mean, it is all meaty, you know, sturdy tomato. So these are, these are great for sauces. I will be making sauce over the weekend um, and I'll use that for this, probably start tomorrow now that I've cut one open. So let's get the other tomatoes that I've got ready. I know this is a mystery sound, but that's my mystery, not yours. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes I let the tomatoes go too long. That does not mean I can't use the tomato. I just cut off the bad part. It's still fine. It smells fine, it's fine. So we're gonna cut up some tomatoes here. Sometimes I will try to get some of the seeds out by just kind of, let me get it here. Just try to move some of the seeds out because you don't want your pico too moist, but you know. Let me get a dish. You'd think someone would be a little more prepared for her stream.
This is one of the black trifles. Um, Christine told me today that I shouldn't be leaving them on the, the vine. I thought they were going to turn black. I mean, they're called black trifles, but that's, um, I guess, not why they're called black trifles. So get some of the uh, juice out of them. There are people who want you to be much more precise with your knife work on things like Pico, but I'm all about just get it cut up and get it into the, uh, the bowl. forgetting what I'm doing this all this stuff goes in the bowl you know so I have to admit that I forgot to grab a jalapeno from the yard um, which means we're gonna get to have a choice of whether I run out there while you guys sit here and wait which is really awkward because there's nobody to kind of talk or if I just make this without jalapeno I think you guys should let me know what you want to do. I got a little distracted this afternoon. Something came up that I had to take care of. And um, three times I said, oh, you need to go get a jalapeno. Did I do it? No, did not do it. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So I'd like to know if anybody else makes Pico and how do they do it differently? If they do it differently. I like to use about equal parts onion to tomato ratio. And I think this is gonna be enough for our our little dinner tonight. So we're gonna change up to... I don't... I'm gonna skip ahead in comments here. I don't think um, the camera will... the, the NDI will go far enough. Um, but Birthday Girl has spoken. She thinks it needs a jalapeno. So um, let's see. What can I leave you looking at? Do you want to look at all of kitchen cam? You want to look at lime cam? It's going to probably be a two, um, one to two minute excursion. And you know what I could do? We could, we could do a little uh, test to see how far the NDI goes. I think that would be a good time. I need to leave my ears out though. And, who I'm worried about audio. Um, let's see. You're not going to hear me? I don't want the, the, um, the mic to lose, to lose connectivity because we'll never get it back. So... Here we are, I'm naked, I can't hear anything. Let's see if this works. Okay, let's see how far it goes.
Did it go all the way? Did it go all the way? Okay, I lost the, uh, the little muffler thing. But, um, pushing the envelope was worth it, so um, hopefully one of the dogs didn't decide to eat it. Or it might be caught in my hair, because I have a lot of that. All right. Please excuse me a moment while I re-wardrobe. I can't believe I lost that little thing. Damn it. All right. Let me know if I need to adjust the mic since there's no windscreen on it. Well, that was fun. Okay. Uh, all of that <laughs> for this tiny little jalapeno because I don't need very much. I I, um, I don't do heat that well. Okay. Whew. Happy birthday, Sherry. Okay. Well, let me catch up with with uh wow there's a lot going on here guys y'all are talkative tonight i'm loving this <laughs> hi lillian thank you for coming in tonight i appreciate it um you are who i was thinking of when i asked if people do it differently so um i know that that you are very precise about a lot of things including uh pico so yeah i'm curious Christine's learning a lot of things about, okay, black tomatoes are not truly black, true. The ones that I have grown have been like dark purple. I don't like purple food. So I kind of stopped growing them. Um, yeah, so maybe, maybe it's kind of the same thing, Christine, I don't know. Yeah, you did it, you dared me to go to the garden and we almost made it. Or maybe did we make it all the way? Somebody will tell me later, I'm sure. Um, you need jalapeno for pico, I did it. Um, I think it needs jalapeno. And don't forget the salt. Okay, let's put the salt out right now. I, Sherry, filled this up today knowing that you were going to give me a bad time about salt. So that is sitting here ready. Remind me to use it. Um, I'm with you, Red, Whistles, whatever we're calling you this week, Keely. <laughs> I'm not a big jalapeno fan, but I did notice the other day when I didn't put some jalapeno in there. Um, Tori, you know, I don't have dog cam set up. I should probably do that, huh? All right, I will let you report how the test worked. Um, yes, you were making pico when I uh, went over to get to get ice. It's that kind of thing. Uh, uh, yeah, and I take out the seeds just because it gets too juicy. But I use them for strange things. Like the other day, I, I asked Sherry, I said, I said, I wonder what peanuts would taste like soaked in pico de gallo juice. So I, I tried it and it was really good. I forgot to tell you that, friend. Um, yeah, it was really quite tasty. So that's that. I need to get cutting on onions here. Come on, y'all. Um, Glad you enjoyed that, Keely. And yes, it is smoky out there. When I got up this morning, it smelled like a campfire. Um, all right, friend, you and I are gonna figure out how to make that better, how I can do that, because if if we can make that happen, this takes a stream to a whole new level. Um, you guys could probably go tell me what to harvest and we could like cook something on the fly, just about. Um, all right. Just froze a few times. Okay, great, great, great. Um, and Alpaca Mama saw me from her window, so I was legit out there, not just throwing shade at y'all. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to watch this part, Sherry. Thank you. You know I like good shadows. Um, hey, look at you jumping in here. Um, how's it going, Diana? Good to see you. It is a little one. It's a very little one. You little guy. Um, 
Yes, everybody say it again. Happy birthday, Sherry. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know that. Oh yes, a glass of pico juice. I am. Um, I put it over my scrambled eggs this morning. It was really good. Okay, kids, let's get to work. <coughs> enough fun with cameras. Never enough fun with cameras. Okay. I've got about that much. So I'm going to get it. Not an egg. I'm going to get an onion over here. Hi, happy birthday, friend. Onion and drink. All right, it's been a while since we've done an onion cutting lesson, so cut it in half. Leave the root on. I'm gonna cut the, the tassel off. And then I'm gonna flip my board over because I don't want onions and garlic on my non-onion and garlic side of the board. I'm not uh, skilled at Illuminati drawings, so it doesn't say, hey, Michael, upside down but it still says, hey, Michael. So the root keeps everything together. I'm just going to come in here and go almost to the end. And I want the onion pieces to be about the same size as the tomato pieces. So you see that it's holding together all by itself right now. And then curl. Because remember, in February we didn't curl and Sherry had to come rescue me. Ooh, this is one strong onion, y'all. Woo! <laughs> I'm not crying. No, not at all. Woo! Sharp knife, go fast, didn't necessarily work this time. Wow. I'm going to move this away from me for a few minutes while I work on some garlic. So I am curious, I know the answer for at least one of you is yes, I do jack-o'-lanterns, but I'm wondering if anybody else carves pumpkins. I uh, was kind of considering maybe doing a little uh, pumpkin carving, a carve-along, I guess would be, is where we all just kind of hang out in Discord and uh, carve our own little pumpkins. Something different. I got to carve one anyhow, so might as well do it with y'all because that would make me really happy. Um, so either jump into the Discord if you're not already there. And if you are there, jump in there and tell me yay or nay if you're interested in that kind of thing or not. And if you're not interested, it's okay to say so. If you want to just direct message me because you don't want everybody else to know you're not cool with it, 
um, that's great. I just like to get an idea of um, what the interest level is and uh, we'll make a time. So that's that. This garlic's taking a minute. This is some of the really fresh stuff and I don't know if it releases the, the skin a little easier as it gets older. Yes. I knew, Diana, that you would be a yes. How many do you usually do, Diana? Uh, for those who don't know Diana, Diana is one of our, uh, our dog show friends. And she loves Halloween. Like, more than you think people could love Halloween in a really good way um, and it makes me really happy when Diana discovers a new Halloween thing because the joy that she gets out of it is amazing it's it's just it, it's really nice to see somebody get such joy out of something in life so that's something that I really appreciate you for I appreciate about you Diana Ooh, okay, this could be a thing. All right, it's looking like people, we've got Tori in. Alpaca Mama is actually gonna come over here and hang out with me. That would be fun. Um, Sherry's in, okay, okay, we'll, uh, we'll pick a date. It's gonna have to be after Sherry moves into her new house, I think, um, but that's okay, four or five. Look at you, Diana, four or five pumpkins, okay. Um, I am almost done, guys, I promise. All right. Yeah, Keely doesn't have a soul. No, I'm kidding. She just doesn't have a soul for, um, for jack-o'-lanterns, that's all. All right, here we are. To find a picture of one you know the amazon smile the little arrow logo i did one one year with uh, that and some eyes it was kind of cool okay let's bring that bowl of goodness back over the hard part is over with guys well no i guess i lied because there's still um jalapeno but that'll go fast I don't have any gloves, so this is going to be a mistake in the waiting. Ooh, wow, I can smell the heat on this. I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to get a paring knife so I don't cut my fingers off. I can smell this jalapeno from over there, which is like, this looks big. It is not, it is not big. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to tell you right now. It is not big. Rich, if you're still here, there's something over here for you to look at. So I'm going to leave it here for a second while I uh, try to daintily not cut my fingers off while I get these seeds out. Um, this is worth putting up. I did not know this, Beth. Um, Beth's sister designed the, uh, the Amazon logo. That's pretty cool. There's a, there's a good claim to fame. Cool. Um, are you, what are you calling me a wuss for, Shuri? Because I can't do the, um, the heat. I, I know my strengths, I know my weaknesses, and some of my weaknesses I will go after with a fervor and turn them into strengths, but um, yeah. The jalapeno, not so much. But look at that, look at that. Nice and minced, 
Boom. Okay, now the hard part is done. Let's squeeze some more lime in here. That one's dead, but I have another one. I'm going to go get another half lime in the fridge because I know I'm going to want it in here. And then we're going to mix this up, add some cumin and some salt and pepper, Sherry. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. If I don't say that enough, I will forget. It fell on the rind side down, so we're fine. Okay, I'll go wash my hands. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour a little cream on them after I wash my hands just to neutralize some of that stuff. I don't know if it works, but it sounds like a good idea. Let me do that. Hope that's enough to neutralize it. We'll find out, because you know I'm not gonna remember, and I'm gonna touch my eyes, and it's gonna be hell. All right, let's get this out of the way. Somebody made a mess in here. I need a PA or something. Okay, that's looking good. I should have chosen one of the green ones just for color. I didn't, but that's okay. We need some salt. I'm gonna put some pepper in here. I'm gonna grab some cumin, and then I need to go walk across the kitchen and get some cilantro. Some grand cumin. And I don't go shy on this. That smells good. Some cilantro that means we got to bring the board back because somebody wasn't organized cilantro is fast though Lillian, you take all the seeds off the stems, if I recall correctly, for yours, or seeds, um, all the leaves off the stems, and that is absolutely admirable. Um, I am not that, that dedicated. Last year when I made my paprika, um, and I cut up all of that paprika, and I was thinking to myself, you know, it's paprika. Paprika is not spicy. My hands for 10 days, I'm not kidding you, for 10 days, every time I got them wet, they started burning because the, the paprika was so spicy. Why the onions are flying everywhere today. <laughs> 
So um, you can always add some cayenne or some chili powder. I like it really mild. So um, since, let's just be honest, I'm the only one here right now. Um, anybody who comes over later can spice it up when he or she is ready. But for me right now, this is great. Um, okay, let's see what everybody's saying. All right, lots of people in for, for um, pumpkin and Keely is not. Cool, yes, yes. And you know, I've got a video on how to roast pumpkin seeds. So um, it was, let's see, I probably did that in December, but it's super, super easy. And everybody's gonna have pumpkin seeds. So we might as well kind of tack that on to, to um, an adventure. Maybe I'll have to do it live sometime. Happy birthday, Sherry. All right. Oh, thanks. Sherry liked the pumpkin. All right. Jalapenos come in red. They are only green. Yes, um, they are green. However, if you leave them on the plant long enough, or even if you have them on your counter long enough, they do, do turn. They do turn red, Diana. So this is actually a jalapeno. Um, that I have now gotten all over my fingers again and they do turn red so um, I will take a picture when I harvest mine you'll see that they're green and we'll leave a couple on the counter and I'll take another picture and it'll be our fun little science project how's that um, Cherie likes her spice and again thank you for that reminder it's always a good reminder um, okay you too you add the, cu the cumin the cayenne and, and my paprika that paprika was so good um, and I was right, she is very good. Lillian is fastidious about making sure there's no stems in her daughter's uh, pico. All right, this is now sitting long enough. I'm gonna, uh, no, it does not need to touch purple, my friend, because you know I won't eat it if it's got purple in it. <laughs> okay, let me get some, some chips. So let me get a bowl. some more part of the evening. Let's give it a try here. Try that again. Okay, this is might be not a good ship might be too fresh. a little bit more lime and I don't have any squeezed right now I don't have any open either I don't want to cut into another lime so I am going to get some better than lime or true lime oh wow yeah I'll get some true lime and I'll show you how I use that because um, that's good stuff It's cold pressed and crystallized lime. One packet equals about a wedge of a lime. And this stuff um, has saved my bacon a few times. Last year, if y'all have been watching the stream for that long, you might remember that in December, I made some pico de gallo to go with some fish tacos that I was making. I didn't have any lime. And apparently this is really crystallized, so we're not gonna use it. Um, Come on. Nope. 
I need to ask her to put that on the grocery list. Okay. So anyhow, I had a frozen tomato. Yes, I have frozen tomatoes in my fridge. They're like freezers, like bocce balls. I had a frozen tomato that I just ran over the coarse grater and then some, I cut it up a little bit in big chunks and then let that, this thaw out. Um, I had some onion and garlic, obviously. And then I just used some of that true lime because I don't think I had a lime at the time. And I had some cilantro and it made an actually pretty decent um, pico for those times when you don't have the fresh, but you want the fresh. It, it wasn't so bad. So um, definitely an option. I want to get a dish to put this in so it's nice and pretty. And then um, we'll wrap it up. I probably will add one more tomato to this. It's a little more white than red. So um, note to self, add a one more tomato in the future. But it's not so bad. Oh, I'm sorry guys, you can't see this happening. There we go. Yay. That's really good. Um, you know what I'll be eating tonight, all night long. No, this is this is tasty. Um, I should let it sit for a little bit. Definitely needs a little more lime. I'll take care of that after we're done. Um, but boy, it's good. And it's gonna be really good on my eggs in the morning. Yes, Michelle. Chips are really good. Um, let's see some more thumbs up before I uh, leave. Hit that like button if you would, please. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, oh, that was good. Mm. I'm ignoring you about those little yellow tomatoes, Christine. I'm ignoring you. All right, we've got one more thing for y'all. Any questions? Hey, Kevin. Okay, there you go. Um, you could be here in what, 17, 18 hours with that soup? All right, I've got one more thing for y'all. Um, happy birthday, Sherry. Everybody needs a drink.
Happy birthday, Sherry. I'm not going to sing. It'll be the best birthday present ever for me not singing to you. Um, it's a key lime pie. I didn't make it, but uh, if you uh, do your little wish, I'm going to give you a few seconds and then I'll blow it out for you. Oh, it's one of these. Dang it. How did I not know this? There we go. Okay. Happy birthday, Sherry. All right. Um, I have no plans of sharing this with anyone else in this house. So I'm going to get my spoon or my fork and I'm going to taste your birthday cake. Christine, those tomatoes you gave me are unruly and opinionated, and I will never forgive you for it. But key lime pie, because they didn't have any lemon cake and they didn't have any tiramisu. So this is where we are. Mm. All right, y'all. Um, I will watch the replay, grab the interest in, um, actually, if you're in the server already, if you're in the discord community, go ahead and drop in and say, yeah, I'm in for pumpkins and that'll help. And then I'll, I'll troll this and make sure I've got everybody and we'll set up a time, um, 12 ish to Seattle. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's not that far. Yeah. All right. Um, we've got a lot of happy birthdays to Sherry, which means I have to drink. more drinking any questions anyone why is it that you can make me cry from here friend um ah uh, yeah look at this pretty pie that i didn't make and I'm not crying either. I hope, I hope you had a great day, Sherry. Thank you all. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for indulging me on, on throwing this spontaneous birthday party. Uh, more happy birthdays. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this up real quick. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do this one more time in case anyone came in late. says happy birthday um pico and key lime pie sounds like an interesting combo you know it is but it's all got the citrus line you know with the the mojito and the not enough lime in the pico quite yet and then the key lime pie i mean you know what are you, what are you gonna do you know it's good uh tori it came from hagen the key lime pie came from hagen and, and it's actually pretty good um it's a rolled crust and not a graham cracker crust, and I'm okay with that. I'm actually okay with all the crusts, because, well, have you met me? Um, uh, we're making Michelle laugh. I don't know what we did, but we're making Michelle laugh. Um, Principal Walker, you've done it. Here's the reason why there is no... <laughs> no. I, I would probably be able to come up with one, but that would mean I'd have to keep my silverware drawer clean. And, um, well, that's a challenge. But you know me in challenges, so look for that. Coming soon to a Silver Lining Home Place kitchen near you. 
And Keely's mocking me. Yes. Uh, yes, Sherry, I'm glad you stopped by. Thank you for coming. Um, drink with every cry. Holy cow. Um, I can't say happy birthday and I can't cry. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my mother Welcome calling. Faye Taylor. So I am going to leave you now. Happy birthday, Sherry. It's happy, Faye Taylor. happy birthday. I love you. I love you too, Michael. Everybody take care, and I will see you in two weeks.